All right, folks, through farming life back again today, doing a bit of plowing. Just finished this field on the way out here, unfortunately. Driving home my plowing. Really impressed with this five for a plow, although we did have a problem with a circlip coming off on the front of the ram, but we think that's maybe from the previous owner. Uh, it looks like there's maybe a mission. Maybe there was a missing washer which is why it rubbed funny and caused the circlip to ping off and then the ram decided that it was going to try and come off and then the ball broke for in the ram itself you know so we had to get a new one of them but we're away again <laughs> uh, but aye first field done but this field's going into grass we were going to under sow the spring barley but we decided that it's mm, it makes the field really rough after the combine's been in, so we decided we're going to plow and then level it, plow it and then level it and then sow it, and then that means we've got a nice flat field for the next year, and you're not going to get rattled about. <laughs> but I'm not fair impressed with uh, the plow so far. So on to field number two and that's going into grass as well and then I've got around 70 or 80 acre of uh, winter barley to go in but dad started levelling that with the old Haras but we've found a wet point so dad's bringing the digger home the now and then he's going to go and sort the drain before we sow it just try and get that out of the road because uh, it's piling up uh, it got really bad after I plowed it so that's that um, aye, we're moving on to the next field now so that's bro hey bye good girl still got bales to bring in as well plenty of jobs to do but the weather's just come dry um, so we really need to get on <laughs> so here we are in the next field. <sighs> Flowing beautifully so she is. Very impressed with her. The way she's turning it over, the tractor's pulling her no baller. Well, there's definitely more of a pull on this than there is on the other one, the forefarer. But the ground you're covering is unreal. Uh, I know I'm going a bit slow in the room, but that's just because I had a coffee, so I'll be speeding up shortly. And I know that I'm not very straight at the moment because the field's not straight. We started at that fence and it's a big curve. So, I'm getting there with squaring it off because the other side's straight. So, I'll see if I can get it to match up, but if not, I'm not too bothered. As long as it keeps turning it over level as it's doing, I'm happy. So what this thing does when uh, you're turning it, it's quite smart. You only have one spool to work this thing, well, two spools. The second one's for the front fur. But basically, one lever. Narrows the plow. Turns it over. And it shoves itself back up to where you had it set. Well, 
and if I'd keep my hand on the lever it would, but aye. <laughs> so that way, the rear fur doesn't hit the ground. What are you doing? Um, aye. The land wheel, sorry, doesn't hit the deck when you're turning it over. But, the turned over furs are looking lovely, so I'm very happy with this plow. <laughs> The old plow was good, but it was definitely meant for a tractor with smaller wheels. I'm hoping... I'm hoping that Dad's going to sell it at some point. I don't need to have two plows, one sitting down the hunt. really good because every four runs I've done five with the old plow so take that over the course of this full field you know and you're, you're it's not what one more can do like you know as we go into gear 11 so plowing gear 11 will be about the limits four mile an hour going up the hill Still doing a good enough job, so she is. Big blows when you see them like that, like. Next stage is a six for. No chance. No chance. Don't require it. Happy enough for this. <laughs> Grip would be the biggest baller for something bigger. Whereas, you know, grip for this is one of the ballers, but she's managing it the now, that's the main thing. So, coming up the top of the hill, and she's starting to die, but she's away again. What a machine. Really should get the mudguards back on again, but I've just not had the chance. Too busy. <laughs> uh, so back again this field where we first started trying the plow out but dad wanted to spray it off but you can see it started dying everything's yellow so that's fine it'll all die um, you can tell we've had a hell of a rain since I tried the plow quite a lot of slake in there you know just running down the furs hopefully we don't get rainfall like that again uh, hopefully the crop gets established before that happens that'll help bind everything. Um, yeah, ploughed all of that field yesterday. Uh, started at about 2, finished at about half 8, 8, half 8, can't you mind. So that was bra. Uh, so yesterday I think I ploughed just over 20 acre, maybe nearly 25, I'm not sure. Maybe less than that. But I 20 odd acre anyway, and I, the difference with having this big plow is unreal. Uh, so what we've got going on in this field now is this field's actually had uh, dung, um, but we've got somebody in spreading slurry on it as well, so that'll hopefully help, because that's what we've done at the start of the year for the spring barley. We got quite a good crop, really, actually, off of the uh, fields that we spread with slurry, so I didn't use any fair and it grew in quite nicely. So, we're going to be trying it again with the winter barley and see where we land. Try and save a bit of money, you know, because fertilizer's daft. But, 
a hole. Get the slurry in the soil. Nah. I like this field because it's a big long one. The 30 acres of just aye, big long up and down, so ideal. <laughs> I'll fair get through it at that, like, so I will. Well, I've done a few runs, look how far across I've got. Still got all that right enough, but, wow! <laughs> Absolutely loving this blue. Got her set up pretty good too. Nice and level. <laughs> no long getting the acres in like this, like. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll keep you all updated as soon as I can. I'm trying my best to edit videos and keep them firing out, but I just keep getting held up. I'm the uh, nose on the ball as I used to be, I'm sorry. So, anyway, guys, cheers for watching. See you all soon. Hopefully. Ha ha ha.